sponsored by 666bet, live and exclusive on VIPboxing.tv, under the capable hands of your commentator, Simon. Please welcome our next boxer, hailing from Chatham. Here is Danny Shannon. And here comes a young, exciting talent from Liverpool, Kid Shamrock James Mecca. Ladies and gentlemen, this, our penultimate contest of the evening, live here from the Liverpool Olympia, is six three-minute rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the multi-spangle coloured shorts. At the weight, he scaled 11 stone, six and a half pounds. From six contests, he has two wins. One of those wins coming by way of knockout, Three defeats and one draw. Hailing from Chatham, presenting Danny, Real Deal Shannon. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing his familiar black colored shorts. A Dwayne he scaled, 11 stone, three and a half pounds. His perfect record this evening reads, seven contests, seven wins. Two of those wins coming by a way of knockout. Presenting from Liverpool, the undefeated James, Kid Shamrock Mecca. Timekeeper at the bell, Andrew East, star referee in charge of the action, Steve Gray. Six three minute rounds. Okay, boys, if a cold break, make sure you take one step back. Don't let any of your punches go around the back of the head and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. The Big Fight, sponsored by 666bet.com. Welcome back, guys. Jay Metcalf, Danny Shannon. I don't know if anyone noticed that when Jay Metcalf got in the ring, he Second did actually come in, come into the ring the same corner. Danny Shannon was in the ring. I think he was trying to intimidate him there. Do believe it. Danny Shannon, two, three, and one. Jay Metcalf, seven and zero. Oh. Metcalf. Black shorts, black black boots. Shannon, navy blue shorts, white trim, white boots. Been very exciting in his last few fights, Jay Metcalf. Been brought along nicely. Steve Wood doing a good job with him. Known as Kid Shamrock. May start noticing some of these similarities, the trunks, the name, the nickname, son of Liverpool great, Shane Airy. Really prediction there. Giving Michael Buffer a bit of a, a bit of a big up there. He could give Michael Buffer a ring for his money apparently. I'm not too sure about that. You mean the way he looks? 
cheap tan, a bit haggard. Danny Shannon's definitely going to be here to win. Nice right hand there from Metcalf. And a nice left hook as well. Hanging on there, Metcalf. Met Sorry, beg your pardon. As he was hanging on, Metcalf was clubbing away. I think it's rattled Shannon a little bit, that has. It looks a little bit flustered, and Metcalf looks like he's going to take advantage of it. Just missed a wild left up there. Shannon. That, that's a nervous jab. Very nervous when he's letting his shots go. I think Metcalf's got to him here in the mind games. I do believe that. He's really intent the way Metcalf steps forward. Lovely right hand to the body. Two right hands to the body. A little telling off there for Metcalf. Wasn't really a punch. Nice jab from Metcalf. Shannon's in there, he's letting his punches go. He's... He's missing that wild left hook again, Metcalf. Last 10 seconds of the first round. Metcalf, left hook, then let the right hand go. Good first round there. Shannon goes back to his corner. There we go, round number two. Keep the tweets coming in, guys. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Jay Metcalf, Danny Shannon. Are we going to have our first stoppage of the night here? Are we going to have an upset? Is Shannon going to get the victory? Metcalf win on points. Six three minute rounds. And then we've got the biggie. The Central Area Cruiserweight title, 10 three minute rounds. Corners, 10 seconds. Carl Dilks, Wayne Denny. Seconds out, round two. There we go, second round, second of six. Metcalf Shannon. Steve Gray splits the guys up again. Shannon's corner, corner imploring him to let his hands go. Quite amateur, Shannon, the way he, when Metcalf wakes his way forward, when he lands a first shot and then he follows him with another shot. Quite amateur is the way Shannon just kind of pushes him off. He doesn't really know how to, how to roll or what his stance is like, how to work his way around the ring. Not sure what his amateur background is. Nice job from Metcalf. Nice left hook there and a right hook as well from Metcalf. Shannon let one go of his own there. Fair play Danny Shannon. Nice right hand there, landed straight on the button. So this is how it worked, wanted it to work out. Team Metcalf. The cut now on the right eye of, of Shannon. I don't know if that was that left up that landed. And he's staggering into the corner. I've not seen anything from the referee. Heads going close together then, but it's on the other side. Referee's having a look at that cut there. There we go. Targeting that cut there, Metcalf, with that jab. You could see that. That's clever thinking. Shannon's letting his hands go as well. He's a proud man. Those two lunges missed there from Metcalf. Nice jab. Targeting that cut, making the blood worse. Shannon's still letting his shots go. He's very upright, very static, Shannon. Got out of the way well there.
Nice right hand there. Shannon landed a right hand. Certainly made Metcalf think about it. 20 seconds left in the round. Nice jab. Nice right hand to the body as well. Shannon's still in this fight. He's a live underdog. Nice uppercut. Stroke hook. And again, there's that shot again. Brings it from down near his knees. Run through the results from earlier on in the show. Adam Ishmael won on points. Beat Mick Mills. Victor Drizoniaks. Beat Scott Moonen in an upset, the away fighter. Colin Farricker. Tom Farrell. Mason Cartwright. Tommy Tay, them all had wins for the home corner. Anthony Kakache on a team McGuigan. He was, he was borrowed for the night. Added a bit of glamour to the show. He also won on points, and we've just seen the debut of Steve Brogan against Christian Late. Good performance from Brogan. In the first two fights were the fight of the night for me, Steve Brogan. Certainly one of the performances of the night. Two fights, this fight including, and the main event still to go. Seconds out, round three. The fight of the night I'd probably give to Ishmael Mills. Performance of the night, Brogan. Well, that's before this fight's finished. And then we've got Dilts, Adeni, top of the bill. That's what Steve Will's going to be doing more and more, moving into 2015. If he needs to match two of his own lads, he will. Metcalf just working his way around the ring now. Just landed a right hand there, working his way. Did well. Danny Shannon let his hands go. I think that'll just encourage Metcalf. Metcalf wants to involve, wants to get him in a gunfight. Wants to get him in a big deep breath from Shannon. Again there, just the way he pushes him off, it's very amateur, it's very novice. -y. Needs to tie him up a little bit, whichever way he can. Steve Gray, not gonna let any of that. Get a tweet in guys, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. What do we think is gonna happen in this fight? Metcalf just stalking his man round the ring. Danny Shannon's going to tell him off now one or two different things. Metcalf, nice jab. Working round the ring, he's cutting them corners off now, Metcalf. Danny Shannon, he's not Danny Shannon, you can tell his natural instincts to let his hands go. But he's just worried about what's coming back at him there. Similar to then let right hand go, he missed. Metcalf picked him off with a right hand down the middle. Metcalf. Left hand to the body there from, from Metcalf on Shannon. Reading in the Liverpool Echo today, Jay Metcalf sold more tickets for this fight than he has for any of his previous fights. So obviously building up a bit of a fan base now. Exciting finish against Ryan Toms last time out, won't have hurt. Nice right hand there from Shannon. Short left up there from, from Metcalf. Corner seemed to have done a good, good job on the cut there from Shannon as well. Straight right hand from Metcalf. I think Shannon was just backing off, landed a lovely left hook as well. Look guys swapping jabs. Been some good action in this round. Metcalf targeting the body and Shannon went head hunting. Both guys out of range a little bit. Right hand there, I think Shannon was just moving with it as he took it. Metcalf, going to get back to his corner, regroup. We need a plan B now, Metcalf. Danny Shannon in his corner are happy with the way things are going. He's having some success with some, some of the straight right hands. Well. There we go. Just watching Metcalf, listening to his instructions. Shannon in his corner. 
His corner man's been very happy, he's been very animated with the way the fight's been going. Big effort needed here, they're telling him in his corner, Shannon. He's at that stage in his Four career now. Seconds. Two, three and one, he wins tonight, he's back. Back on level turns in terms of wins and defeats. Goes to two, four and Seconds one. Out. Round four. Jay Metcalf, he's the one with the 100% record. Put him in some, kind of brought him along a nice rate, Metcalf. Running free turn pro, Kevin McCauley, then James Smith, Dean Mitchell, Max Maxwell, Liam Griffiths. Then we started stepping it up then. Probably probably after Dean Mitchell went in with Max Maxwell in the fourth fight. Then Liam Griffiths, Gary Bolden. Then Ryan Toms last time out at this venue. It was in September. Got rid of Ryan Toms in the second round. Good finish. Steady, steady start. Shannon's sitting on his shots a little bit more here. That's obviously what the corners told him. Certainly Shannon tied him up a lot better there as well. I think Shannon's growing into the fight, but I just think I think an attack from, from Metcalf. And the worry from Shannon is he's gonna go a little bit ragged. When he gets when he gets tagged because of that that novice approach, when he's up when he's backed up against the ropes, when he's on the defensive, when he's taking punches. Well certainly he's given plenty of encouragement, he's put his shots together well there. Nice one-two. Corner encouraging him. There's less coming back as well from Metcalf. You just wonder if, if doubts are creeping into Metcalf now as well. It's Shannon's best round so far. How's everyone else seeing it? Tweet us in, guys. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Are we seeing a, a, a change in this fight pattern? Metcalf needs to bring his shots up. Shannon going in confidence again there, letting another one two go. Three wants him to work out of there. Steps in. Heads came dangerously close then together as well. Dabbing at his head there, I don't know. I've got Shannon's back to me, so I'm not too sure how that looks, to be honest. Great tweeting from Roulette Predictions. At RRS, YS, perks of the job. You don't get that as a commentator, mate, I'll tell you that for a fact. You might get it as an MC. Certainly don't get it as a commentator. I'm lucky if I get a couple of old bags. Blood, blood now streaming from Metcalf. Shannon Lenny stops go. Targeting the cut. Just trying to see where exactly the cut is. Metcalf's left eye, there's a, a very bad cut above the left eye. I think the referee's quite happy with it. I think he's going to have it. going to watch the corner now. The corner's got some work to do with that cut. This could be another change in the fight here. I think Steve Gray's going to be interested to see. See what it looks like. Round number five coming up, we've had four rounds completed. Four rounds completed, fifth round coming up. The free Steve Gray's having a look at that cut now, seeing how bad it is. Just seeing the doctor there giving, giving a nod there. Ladies and gentlemen, the situation has calmed down, so please retain your seats to support your boxers. The boxers have trained a lot for this contest, so please retain your seats. Thank you. There we go. Doctor's giving the OK. He's happy for the Board fight to continue. Seconds. That means the referee's going to be happy for it to continue. Let's move to round number five. Seconds out, round five. 
gone five of six. Steel Arts reckons we could have a cut on the... We could have a stoppage on the cut. It is a bad one, pal. The corner seems to have done a decent enough job with it. Let's try and have another little look at it. Shannon's targeting that cut now. And we've completed four rounds now as well. Does that mean if we go to the, the scorecards? The roulette prediction again, just one tweet of the night when I just said I was going to get a couple of bags. You're not wrong there, pal. Definitely a discount. A lovely left hand there from Metcalf. Shannon, his corner, wanting to target that cut. We've had four rounds now. We'd go to the scorecards. We've had them completed. That's not what Metcalf will want. He's a fighting man. He's got a fighting family. It's definitely put a bit of doubt in Metcalf's mind, though. It's just making him think that a little bit more. I think he could just box his way here now a little bit. Let the jab go, let the double jab. I'd like to see the game on his toes, on the balls of his feet. Shannon's looking for that, that big blockbuster shot. You can see him, he's cocking the right hand back. I think that could open, create an opening for the left up. Shannon definitely looking for a big finish. Could end up walking onto one from Metcalf. Shannon's corner, every time he lands, imploring him on, imploring him to throw more shots. How's everyone seeing this fight, guys? What do you reckon, Steele? That's that cut going to hold up another another round or, and another minute or so. The referee seems quite happy with it. I think Shannon's not throwing enough. He's got that cut. He's got an opportunity. Lovely right hand from Metcalf. Followed it up with a left hook and then missed with a follow-up left hook. Nice shot from Shannon straight down the middle. Shannon again, he's just thinking now about that shot a little bit too much. Took that well then, Metcalf. Had his hand up, took it on the glove, did well. Metcalf targeting the body on the way in. I don't know what Metcalf has done in this round when he's boxed. He's done a good job of being able to kind of nullif nullify the opportunities that he's given Shannon to, to hit that eye with. Shannon's still keen. He's still looking to let the right hand go. Nice right hand to the body there from, from Metcalf. Missed with a wild left up. And then in the earlier rounds where when Metcalf was looking to load up. Fanny Shannon. Lost the point there for holding. Nodded in agreement with the referees. Just watching the board of inspectors. They're uh, having a little nosy at Metcalf's eye. Seemed all right that round, held up okay. Final round coming up. Nobody wants to see a fight stopped on a, on a cut. Least of all the boxers. Referee will have another look before the round kicks off. He'll take, he'll take advantage from the doctor. I think that's going to come back OK. And then we'll have three minutes. Round six before we move to the big fight. Top of the bill, Cal Dilks and Wayne Adeni. Local derby. Both boxers sold a few hundred tickets. Corner's ten seconds. Referee's happy with that cut. Having a little look there. Yeah, he's happy with that. Seconds out for the sixth and final round. It's only a nick. Well done, lads. Good action. Last round. Here we go. Bit of a chess match to start. You throw. No, I'll fault. Who's going to go for it first? Who's going to... Ooh, there we go. Metcalf. Shannon banging the body shots in. Shannon letting his hands go, they're both going to let her go. Metcalf let his gloves go, there's that problem again for Shannon when he gets backed up. He doesn't naturally know how to cover up. I think it makes it look worse than it is as well sometimes. I think we might have a knockdown here in this last round. Shannon's having another telling off there. 
Tanner is going to throw him out. I think that's a bit harsh, to be honest. I get why he's saying it, but I think it's more that it's a novice approach rather than actually, I think, you know, the malice or that, that intent to try and try and mess around. I, just, I don't think he honestly knows watching his style, like how, to, how to tie him up and how to close it. Right. Some power there from Shannon. When he let that shot go, you could tell that. Etta left up there then. His leg stiffened. I think he's hurt his hand as well. He looked at his corner, man. I did call a knockdown. I called a lot of things tonight. Most of them have been wrong, so it'd be nice to get one right. I think Shannon's clinging on for dear life here. A little bit of fatigue as well. It's been tough fights. Referee's going to have another word here. Stiff look, it was on them looks your dad gives you. Yeah, I think Shannon's going to get another telling off here. It could be the last one. One more point off, he's telling him next time you're out of there. Looking at Shannon, I don't know if it's his hand. It looks, it looks in pain, he's grimacing. Is it just the toll of the fight? Metcalf, I think it's just encourage Metcalf to, to, to come on more and look for that stoppage. I'd like to see Shannon reach the final bell here, to be honest. I think he's put a big effort in. Landed some nice shots. He's on a massive pair of balls. Metcalf then wild up. Very exciting last round here. He's waved it off there, the referee. The referee waves it off. Metcalf gets the stoppage in the last round. Danny Shannon, referee stops it in the last round. Jay Metcalf gets his stoppage. Just seeing his dad smiling ringside. His dad still looks in good nick as well. Going to the main event after this. I'm going to leave you with a compare. I'm going to leave you with a compare. He's going to announce the fight. We're then going to move towards the main event. Carl Dilks and Wayne are then here. We're going to have a short advert after this. We'll just bring you the result, then we'll take an advert break, and then we're going to bring you the biggie. Dilks are then the Central Area Cruiserweight title, 10 three minute rounds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 40 seconds of the sixth and final round, star referee Steve Gray has stopped the contest. In his opinion, Danny Shannon was in no condition to continue the four-year winner. Now undefeated in eight professional contests, hailing from Liverpool, James Kitshamrock Metcalf. And a round of applause, please, for Chatham's Danny Shannon, who put a fine effort in.